Hi, Preston Sandlin here, uh, and I wanted to share some thoughts with the uh, Removo, Removo, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, K1. Uh, I got this for Father's Day, it comes in this nifty little pouch. Uh, this, it's what I really wanted, uh, so my wife and kids uh, hooked me up. Um, I really like it. Um, I've, I've had about, uh, we're actually at the beach right now, so I've had about four or five days to play with it, and I thought I would uh, make a video of my thoughts. Um, it comes in this well you get the you can get the protective pouch i actually got the extra battery uh the battery goes in the bottom but anyway you get it out and you know when it's locked you've got a lock here to protect it you're going to unlock that and then there's a, a a lock here for this gimbal um it turns on uh it usually immediately goes right to um the mode oh, it starts recording right away um, you, you can change that setting though if you want um, and it's usually stabilized dead ahead um, the reason I really like this um, is because I like the idea of having uh, something stabilized that I can run and gun like you know we're going out to get ice cream or something like that and I want to film it and I've had a couple of stabilizers in the past I like to sort of log it or you know keep a family history and the problem with most of them is you gotta do a lot of work man you gotta you know, I've had both of the Osmos, and they're great products, but it's like you've got to do two components, and you've got an app, and you've got to get this thing to come on with that, and I was just like, man, I just wanted to pull it out and just get like a couple of seconds worth of stuff real fast, and I wanted it stabilized. It's just too much trouble to do all that, and obviously, you know, if you got a big uh, DSLR, you know, you got to balance it and all that and i just didn't want to do that this is nice man it's all combined in one and you turn it on you've got a little screen here you can balance your shot um you can do the pan mode you can do the follow mode um you can do time lapse just all kinds of cool stuff so i love it because it's an all-in-one nothing to i mean it does have an app but you don't have to use that i mean the, that was my problem with some of the other ones that I had. It was like it was a phone, the Osmo with the phone, and I'm not knocking it. And then there was another one. I have, I've had two or three, but they're all involved two different components that had to sync and ugh, just too much trouble. So anyway, I'm gonna go right into some of the features, but I really like it. Um, okay, uh, so when you get out the uh, Removo um, K1. Um, you pull it out. It's got a couple of uh, safety locks in it. The first thing you want to do is undo this one and then this one for the axis. As soon as you turn it on, it's uh, going to come on and start filming, although you can uh, adjust that uh, setting if you like. I kind of like it because if you're running and gunning, um, that, that's a good uh, thing to have. So anyway, filming is on the left, that button there, so I'm stopping that. If you just want to take a photo, it's on the right. Um, right now, you can check on this little thing here. It's on the uh, mode where it is gonna stay focused. Um, you can go up or down, and it's staying focused just ahead. And you can tell that when you look at the little picture over here on the gimbal, and it's just got the arrow going left and right. Um, so you can change that by um, tapping the, thing so now it's follow mode and if you look there's an arrow going left and right and up or down so it's going to actually follow up or down so you can um that's the follow mode or you can go back to pan mode where it just stays and i like that if you're walking pan mode's a good one so that it takes out that up and down um if you look down on the left thing of this screen here I'm shooting in 1080p, 60 frames per second. It does have 4K capability. I like that. You can also um, go 1080p at uh, 120 frames per second, which is great for slow motion. Um, you see here to the right, you've got um, 12 megapixels, which is kind of nice. And this is your battery uh, mode here. You can also press, um, I think there's a thing you can press at the bottom of the handle and it'll light up here. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, yeah, here we go. And see, it'll show you that I've got a full battery. So anyway, we are in picture mode right now. Um, take a picture. All right, so let's look at some of the other features about the uh, Removo, uh, Removo K1. Uh, another thing you can do to zoom is press the trigger and then up will zoom in. 
hold the trigger and move the little joystick back will zoom out. So let's look at some of the other um, cool features about the Removo. Removo. Um, if we go to menu, let's look at what we have for video settings. You have uh, the mode is video. Let's see what other ch choices you have there. Um, you have slow motion, time lapse. If you want to do a time lapse, I'm a big time lapse person, um, but we're just gonna stick with video for now. Uh, it's your resolution, and I'm hitting the trigger here to select it. You can hit the trigger or the uh, film mode here as well. So you've got uh, 1080p, let's see, 4K, 30 frames per second, um, 60 frames per second. I'm not sure what WKHD is, honestly. I probably should know. Uh, 1440 at 60 frames per second. Um, it, and I like 1080p at 120 frames per second. But right now I'm just going 60 frames per second. Um, you can slow it up, do some cool stuff with it for some B-roll. And then 1080p at 30 frames per second. So uh, let me get back to... Um, oh, you can also do 720 let's go back to yeah that's the one i like all right low light you have a motion setting there i mean all right motion setting this is cool if you want to set it on a tripod and you want it to move left to right whatever you want to do i'll show you how this works so let's go to motion setting you set the amount of time so right now we've got 30 seconds right um, and then next, if you want to set a point A and point B, so you push the little uh, film thing for next. So what we're going to do is set point A. So let's trigger sets point A, and then we're going to move the little joystick to where we want it to go to point B. And let's set that. And then we press the record to start. Now I'm just doing video, but you could do this with time lapse too, and it's really cool. So it's going to start, and I'm holding it with my hand, but ideally you would want to hold this with your uh, tripod. So it's a very um, smooth, calculated uh, movement across, which is really nice. So that's how you do the movement. It's going to take 30 seconds. I probably should have done that less for time, but this is really cool if you do a uh, time lapse as well. So let me go ahead and let this finish. But I tell you, man, I really like this camera. It's an all-in-one, and I can run and gun, be doing stuff. All right, so it saved it all. Um, so anyway, let me see where we are on the... So that was video settings, motion settings. We went through all that. Let's go back. Menu will set you back. You can do, uh, let's see, photo settings. Uh, wait a minute. You've got uh, single... Um, you can do a burst. I prefer single. Um, night mode, self timer. You know, if you want to set the timer and then get get in front of it, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> let's go back. What else can you do in um, night mode, self timer? Okay, so we did all those. Let's see what else we have here. Tuning. Oh, whoops, sorry. Pro settings. Let's see. There are some. Uh, things you can do there um, you can set the white balance the ISO all that stuff I've just got it on auto right now um, I just don't when I'm running and gunning uh, reset pro settings to default no, let's go with that so I'm gonna reset that um, almost done here let's go back to menu so the gimbal settings let's go to camera settings you can do Wi-Fi, there's an app, uh, display orientation, default mode, a couple things. I don't really mess with much of that too much, um, but I'm, I'm sure that you might. Um, you can set the beeps, mic volume. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about. There is a mic port here, um, and I didn't buy the extra, you can buy the extra package that has the uh, rechargeable uh, stand you can set in and there's a little mic that you put in here and it has the uh, dead cat on it um, I think that's cool I, I'm gonna I have one left over from one of my Osmo cameras that I had and I'm gonna use that honestly as much as I love this camera and I think it's a great value that extra package was $49 and I'm like for a little 
three millimeter jack with a dead cat and the rechargeable thing and a little handle thing. I just didn't think that was worth 50 bucks. I do think the camera's worth the money though. The camera's awesome um, and gives you a great option to, uh, you know, to, to film and, and keep things all lined up and take all the herky jerky motion out of it. I think between filming in this and uh, using warp stabilizer, you can come out with some really, really nice uh, B-roll. And you know, I'm a total amateur. I'm, I'm not, you know, one of these professional dudes at all. I'm just, I have a business, and I'm trying to do videos uh, with, for my business, and uh, it just ups my game quite a bit. Let's see what last is gimbal settings. Wait a second, sorry. Let's go to gimbal settings. Um, you can have the speed of the gimbal, uh, invert joystick. I'm not going to do that. Um, they say to auto calibrate if you ever change temperature more than five degrees, like from inside to outside. Um, I think that can affect your gimbal. But anyway, that's all I got. Um, I love this um, camera. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it, it's it's a great uh, in the quality. I don't know I'm going to add a, a little bit of footage here at the end that I've taken with it. But uh, anyway, that's all I got for the Romovo uh, K1. And again, I'm a total amateur. I just unboxed this thing four days ago. But uh, what I've learned, and uh, I just thought I would share that because uh, if you're a professional photographer, you probably hate this video but uh if you're like me and you're thinking about buying it and you're not super professional but you know enough to be dangerous then you might like it if you uh, if you do like it please subscribe um thanks a lot i appreciate it